Good afternoon and welcome back to Dave B's Kitchen. Today we're going to make our cauliflower crust uh, pizza. And uh, we, we made it yesterday. We had quite a few requests for us to make a video on it. So we thought Sunday afternoon and all, we'll just go ahead and, and uh, make a video on it. Um, it's a really simple dish. Uh, it's pretty quick, easy, painless. So uh, what I did is I had one head of cauliflower and I just chopped it up enough to put it into the food processor just to uh, rice it. You can call it ricing it or uh, you know shredding it, what, whatever verbiage you want to use. And it goes uh, pretty quick. And we'll just run this through here quick. So we riced up the cauliflower and I'll just take this out here. You can see what that looks like. It's, you know, just like you'd buy at the supermarket. Um, it's pretty fine and does resemble rice. So I'm going to go ahead and put it into our uh, oven proof um, baking pan to throw it in the microwave for about four minutes just to soften it. A lot of folks like to uh, you know, can use a frying pan, just trying to remove some of the water out of it. I don't know if you can see better on that. And that's just in the raw format and, and uncooked. So all we're going to do is uh, throw it in the microwave for four minutes and just soften it a little bit. All right, so we're done. The cauliflower was in the microwave for about four minutes. While the cauliflower was cooking, I just went ahead and uh, shredded up um, eight ounces of mozzarella and eight ounces of cheddar. It's really what I had in the refridge. You know, I like provolone just as much as cheddar, but cheddar works for me. So um, whatever, whatever your particular cheese uh, philosophy is, uh, you know, they, they all work pretty well. So you can see from the, um, the rice cauliflower, not much change from what we put in. We just softened it up a little bit, probably lost a little bit of moisture, which is a good thing. And we're going to go ahead and put that back in the food processor with our chopping blade. And the reason for the chopping blade is we're going to incorporate um, the uh, rice cauliflower with um, some uh, Parmesan cheese. We, uh, Aldi's has a convenient uh, size that works well with this. This is eight ounces. And um, actually, I'm sorry, it's uh, six ounces. So it's a six ounce size to a head of cauliflower. And then I go ahead and just add some black pepper, a little garlic salt, oregano, whatever your spice preference is. Uh, go ahead and do that. And I use one egg. I, I tried two eggs in the past and it was a little bit wet. Uh, so I just use one, one large egg and that seems to bind things up pretty well with the cheese. So we'll go ahead and get started on that. Okay, we went ahead and added our uh, cooked rice cauliflower in with our chopping blade in the processor. I'm putting in my six ounces of Parmesan cheese. Um, I'll put you know, eh, probably a tablespoon or so of black pepper. 
a little bit less garlic salt. You can use whatever you like. And of course, heavy on the oregano. Maybe two tablespoons of that or so. And then I use my uh, one large egg. And see if we can And as it's whizzing around there, I'll just scrape off the sides. And you just want to process it till it gets to a dough-like consistency. So we processed our um, cauliflower with the cheese and the spices and the one egg, and uh, we, we, you know, kept processing it till it was about a dough-like consistency. And now we're just going to put it out onto our uh, our baking sheet. I did put some parchment paper down. I find that helps it uh, from burning, but yet still it bakes pretty, pretty good results there. So just go ahead, put it out. And a lot of people use their hands. I like using an offset trowel. You know, it's, it's just kind of like a, you know, same thing that you do when you're doing a cake. And you just kind of work it in a, in a pizza type of crust shape. And make it to whatever thickness you like. If you like it thinner, you know, go thinner. If you like a little thicker, do that. You want to be able to make sure it, it cooks all the way through. You know, it's part of the blind baking process that we'll do here in a minute. And you just kind of keep working it out to the edges. You know, and then you want to make sure that you have a little bit of a lip there to keep the sauce from rolling off. Do the old pie pinch method. to set it out on the grill so that's what it should look like or resemble anyhow just a small personal size pizza crust Dave will now take the prepared cauliflower crust and place it on a very hot 700 degree grill he is placing the pizza tray onto an inverted bread baking dish to keep the cauliflower crust from being directly on the heat.
Well, it has been about 10 to 12 minutes and Dave is coming back to the grill to check the doneness of his crust. Notice that it is now browned up and the underside has a nice golden brown. At this point, it is ready to be removed from the grill. After the pizza is topped with a second layer of cheese and additional oregano and black pepper or any other spices to suit, Dave adds his favorite toppings, uh, uh, pepperoni, salami, uh, pretty much any topping of your choice can be added at this time. And then we put back into the grill for another uh, 12 minutes or so. Alright, so we went out and checked on our pizza on the, on the grill. It was about 16 minutes or so. And uh, some may say I got a little overboard with the cheese, but personally I don't see it as a problem. So uh, we'll go ahead and cut her up and see how it tastes. Try to spin this around so you can see. I don't know if I can get, show you the crust here at all. Yeah, it's hard to get on camera, but I don't know if I can do this way any better. But as you, if you can see. Uh, it's a pretty dark crust and a lot of that's from the cheese. Um, you could probably reduce the temperature a little bit, but I'd like it good and bubbly and I don't really mind the dark, uh, the dark complexion of the, of the crust. But um, we'll go ahead and sample it. Holds up pretty well. Definitely cheesy. You really don't get high strong notes of the cauliflower. Probably as it sets up, it will um, get a little bit more rigidity in it. Probably tempting fate here a little bit too much, but you can see it's a little soggy, but not terrible. <laughs> 